my initial concern about this was uh, the testimony from Tammy, the acting secretary during the time of filing, and a, a sitting JP at the time. The initial concern I had was that she indicated that when there was a request from a countywide official, I don't remember if it was a JP candidate or a countywide candidate, it doesn't matter. The request was, is there anything more I need to do? And the response back was, no, there's nothing, don't worry, you are taken care of. For an elected official, my concern is, and this is a concern that's broader than this issue, a better answer, a recommended answer would have been, not that I know of, but you should check or ask someone who knows or is read, because I can't tell you everything there is to know. And I say it for this reason, that question comes up a lot more frequently concerning other things like, am I in the right JP district? Have I filed the right number? Am I in the right precinct? Those things, if you don't know, and you are acting as an elected official, that's every member of our county committees is an elected official, you cannot give the wrong answer. So that was my initial concern. I want to make sure I say, when we asked Mr. Webb today, he did not say there was a violation during the filing period. Did not. And, and that's significant. So I do believe that you, you're on the right path about no, no rules violation. I'm not going to vote yes on the pending motion, and I'm going to ask for a friendly amendment for this reason. I believe there is a place for clarification, and there is room to make sure that we know and understand what four-year elected officials have to do might be undisputed, but I think there's room for clarification. And then, uh, I, I think that it's important that we know and understand that the rule looks like it's harsh, but if you re read our rules in their entirety with the state election code, these rules are meant to be and are actually self-healing rules. Any potential violation is subsequently healed as time goes on. So if you delay your request, time heals these wounds for this reason. JPs, and that's why this is the perfect time for this hearing, JPs who didn't know or understand in, in March of 2022, now, after this hearing, in November 2023, when the next filing period starts for a week period, they're certainly going to know. And if they don't know now, <laughs> They probably don't want to serve on the district committee. And then the four-year elected officials might not know and understand that they need to file again for the county committee because they're two-year terms. You might not think that that's disputed. You might not think it's an issue. I think it's a sub-issue sub that's within this. The question about whether they can file again, I think that means that countywide elected officials are going to have to pay some more money. I could be wrong. Depends on what your county rules say. I do think that there's some clarification is required. That's the reason on your motion I'm going to vote no, and my request is, my friendly amendment would be that we refer it to the Executive Committee for clarification, and that if there's clarification that they see needed, they send it to the Rules Committee for clarification as well. So that's my motion is to amend your motion. I would support that amendment. I'm going to make a couple of comments. Uh, 